Sweetheart, would you like to have a signed Jordi date with me? All right. I'm so glad you accept. Happy St. Jordi Day! Happy St. George's Day, guys! St. Jordi was the patron saint of Catalonia. And so the legend goes that there was a dragon on the outskirts of the city that was going to eat all of the people inside, and the princess decided that she would be the first one to sacrifice herself. St. George intervenes, slays the dragon, and from the dragon's blood emerges some roses. Red, red roses! Which are all over the city today. So it's traditional that the men give the women roses, and the women give the men books. That's pretty nice. It is nice, but I really like books too. So we're books. books and roses for everybody. Let's go find them. Oh my gosh, so we were just walking by our favorite Sephora place and the owner offered us a Sun Jordy roll. Look at it, it's shaped like a rose. Yum. Do you have a personal opinion on pigeons? <laughs> what would you like to name our dragon? Fuego. Fuego el dragon. Oh my gosh, you guys, the city is packed today. Every single person is out. They're buying books, roses. It's really fun. Check this out, Casa Batlo, which is one of Gaudi's buildings. It's like it's completely decorated in roses. Um, so what kind of books should we get each other? They should be in Spanish, because we're still learning. <laughs> and as we're still learning, I request a book with some pictures. <laughs> Good idea. Got a little Catalan for you. San Jordi y el Drac. This is the great legend right here. And plenty of pictures. Um, I would also like a book with pictures of food. I don't have any Spanish cookbooks yet. You want a picture with food? Si. Hey, have you checked out this awesome Instagram feed? Oh, give me some oven. It's full of pictures of food. So, um, if a dragon was about to eat me, would you save me? Of course I would. But I don't believe the violence is the answer, so I'd probably <laughs> invite him to sit down to a vegetarian meal because by this point in the story, he'd eaten all the animals in the village, so I'd make up some falafel, you know, or some tofu burritos, and we'd talk it out. Then I would save you. But where would the roses grow up from? No blood? After talking the dragon down, the dragon would move on start thinking about kind of a more, you know, plant-based diet. <laughs> and then, I would give you a rose. Excellent. <laughs> Have you picked the best ones? Yeah, they look great. Yay, happy San Jordi, me princesa. You say the sweetest things. What a romantic. So the guy who sold them to us said that the wheat is supposed to represent abundance. I'm on board. If you have wheat, you can have flour. And if you have flour, then you can have cookies. And... Success! Ta -da! What'd you get? I got a cookbook called Cocina Energetica. Very good. Which literally translates to energetic food. <laughs> I think it's mostly healthy food. And I've got 1001 Curiosidades because I like curious things. <laughs> All about Barcelona. So much responsibility. I'm holding the San Jordi roses. So we also decided that this was so much fun that I think we're gonna make a tradition of it. And just every April, just know that we're gonna be going 
to pick up a rose or a book or both. I think it's really fun. I think we should totally do this for the rest of our lives. I'm in. I'll be your date. <laughs> Happy San Jordi. Happy San Jordi.